Poor skid resistance of roads increases the potential for traffic accidents. The good news is that there is a well-proven road surfacing technique that can provide a skid accident reduction of up to 50%. The bad news is, despite being widely recognized as the way forward to increase skid resistance, misplaced concerns over cost and durability have seen its use decrease. We've been offering our HAPAS approval process and service to industry now for nearly 20 years. The scheme itself was set up to respond to the needs of the highways authorities. There are a lot of proprietary innovative systems coming through in the high friction surfacing sector that didn't fall within any existing British standards and there was no route to market for them. So we set up the scheme with the highways authorities with input from the Road Surface Treatments Association to shape a guideline and approval process that would ensure that end performance specifications met with those for skid resistance, etc., of the highways agency and ADEPT. Used since the 1960s, high friction surfacing, HFS, has a long history of successfully increasing the skid resistance and reducing braking distances at key road locations, such as road junctions, approaches to traffic lights, pedestrian crossing, roundabouts, and stretches of road that have high accident levels. Treatment with high friction surfacing makes potentially high-risk road locations far safer for both drivers and pedestrians. In addition to the potential for saving lives, the use of HFS can offer considerable financial savings. The associated accident and investigation costs for non-motorway accidents is calculated to be £1.4 million. The cost of HFS installation must be balanced against the local authority's broader strategy, the financial cost of accidents and legal requirements to ensure that roads are safe. I have used high friction surfacing since 1993. It lasts from 7 to 10 years, so that's the reason you know, we have used it in our PFI, so it's a 25 years contract. We look into the risk, where is there are more accidents, where the volume of traffic is very high. That's the areas, you know, we lay high friction surfacing. The skid resistance has improved a lot. We were getting less complaints from the road users, you know, during wet conditions, during winter time. This is the best product you can use, you know, to minimize accidents, to reduce the braking distance. The cost of laying is negligible in comparison to what you have to pay out, you know, if there is an accident. If you use a high PSV material, then you have to monitor it very closely. You know, once it comes below that level, then you have to intervene. That will create congestion uh, and uh, inconvenience to the road users. With the use of the high friction surfaces, you, you know generally, you know, at that location, how many years is going to last. It's in line with good asset management techniques. RSTA, they keep us updated on the new developments, the new products and what they are doing to improve their existing products also. They have got a very good website, you know, where they update their brochures. It's a very good information. The RSTA has addressed the concerns of the industry in relation to high friction surfacing through training and durability of the product. The RSTA has developed an industry code of practice. This benchmark is the best practice for our crews to ensure that when we're applying the high friction surfacing, we identify the correct sites, to ensure that the correct treatment is put on the correct sites, and we ensure that we get long-term durability of high friction surfacing systems that are installed. With the high friction code of practice in place, we also feel that we've addressed the cost and durability of the high friction surfacing to ensure that all of our clients and installers get cost benefit right process in the right location. When we created the BBA HAPAS scheme for high friction surfacing, we included an installer scheme as well. It allows us to ensure minimum levels of on-site auditing and testing are completed. This ticks the box of the highways authorities. It ticks their box for minimum performance requirements for skid resistance. So each site, we know, will meet those minimum requirements. And this gives them assurance and allows them to specify these products within their contractual specifications and within the specification for highways work. 
a service life report is underlined by the RSTA Service Life of Surface Treatments Guidance that establishes the service life of a range of road surface treatments, including high friction servicing. By doing so, it provides a nationally agreed baseline for durability. Having such an agreed baseline is invaluable for life cycle planning and asset management. In 2014, the BBA completed a two-year study of the visual condition of all our BBA HAPAS approved high friction surfacing systems. The survey included 270 plus sites and about 300 inspections in total. These are all marked against the criteria that we have in that guideline and assessment process which has been fed into via the Highways Authorities, Highways Agency, the DEPT and the RSTA. The results from this survey are very positive and what they've shown is that all systems that have gone through this process can achieve an acceptable mark in terms of visual condition at five years. In fact, some of the sites have gone beyond five years and there's evidence to show that these sites can perform beyond 10. There's two parts to high-friction surfacing in the approval system. One is the manufacturing of the product and one is the teams on the ground installing that. And both have to be approved by the BBA and have that certification. And our guys, or most guys, actually have an MBQ in the application of high-friction surfacing in the particular element they're doing, be that hot applied, cold applied. It's important that the guys are trained in the right way and to the right standards. We want everyone to follow those standards. If the RST are driving that forward, it helps us you know, make sure everyone's following the same guidelines and, and achieving those standards. High-friction surfacing, a durable road treatment that saves lives.